Hello, everybody. It is I, the Willowidgey Big Mac. And welcome back to Wario World. Last time, well, we've pretty much been on peak and sand the entire time. So, uh, so this episode we're, plan we're planning on finishing Pecan Sand. Uh, cool game. Uh, thank you for throwing the sho the, uh, the shovel guy. And destroying both of them! Thank you! Thank you very much. Fine, I guess I'll go the long way. You gotta be joking. Anyways, so let. Excuse you! I'm in the middle of talking! Ugh. You know, I wonder what. I'm wondering which level is worse. Uh, Shivering Mountain or Pink and Sands? You know, the only thing worth bad about Pink and Sands is that it's a huge level. Anyway, as I, was, as I was saying, before I got rudely interrupted, uh, last episode, well, I mean, we got, this is all, this is all we got so far, uh, from Pecan Sands, and it took us a long time to find, uh, the red sprightling right there. So, so our plan is to finish, oops. Our plan right now is to fin try and finish up this level. So yeah, so finish up the level, uh, and fight the last two bosses, and, uh, be Warrior World, because, like I said, we are going for the 100% here. Yep, the only downside is that I had to do a lot of backtracking just to find one singular Spriteling. Alrighty. Ah, uh, well, time, time for us to climb here. Uh, you know, we we might as well buy some uh, health. All right, that should be good enough. Punch. All right, let's see. Well, looks like we got Warrior's butt. The only thing we're missing is his head. And. We're missing two treasure, one sprightling, and one one red crystal. So I, I'm gonna presume that the last gold piece and the last crystal are in uh what do you call it? They are most likely in Oh, never mind. Actually no, not I just remembered the last uh the last red crystal is uh with the last red crystal is with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, is with the purple sprite line. How could I forget that? Might as well, yep, so, last two buttons are pushed for treasure. We just have to find, we just have to find the, the things. All right. All right, somewhere around here, Somewhere around here, there's like a specific spot you have to go to. Ah, uh, let's check up here first. Now, this is probably one of the most trickiest parts of this level. And that's just because these shovel guys... Actually, can I just... Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna need that, that third shovel guy. There we go. Ah, uh, let, me, let me just make sure... Uh, well... Let's just grab the treasure chest up here first. Uh, Monarch mask, and then the other one should be on the other side. Yep, sure enough. Uh, let's deal with you first. Yeah, you get yeah, the bottom one. You can just infinitely loot. Uh, 
There we go. Let's just go over here, grab you. Also, last item is GameCube. Pretty fitting, huh? Uh, but that leaves the question. Where is the last... So, yeah, so... We're missing one crystal and one sprite light. And I know... I know where... I know what sub-level they are in. I just need to find the sub-level location. Because it's not right there. Perhaps it's over here? Yep, there it is. Alrighty. I do not like your eye. There they are. And this one is quite a doozy. But hey. We're almost done the game, fel fellas. Jump over here. That leads nowhere, so we're gonna have to jump over here. And apparently Wario, apparently Wario is too fat to even jump that far, so uh, we have to do all that again. Hooray! Uh, hopefully this hopefully this doesn't take too long to where I have to work to where I'm gonna have to repeat uh, this entire thing again because I would really hate for that to happen Alrighty. time for the uh, the floating tooth uh, tooths of doom here Let's see. there we go. Woo! I thought I actually uh, hit that spike ball there. Yeah, so here's the thing, you have to be very careful on this sub level. Because things are narrow, and yeah, considering how how much I was, how many times I was able to fall off, uh, how am I gonna get over there? Uh, I think I, I think I can see uh, how we're gonna get up there. I think. Uh, quick camera angle game. Thank you. All right. You gotta appreciate health there, you know. All right, let's just. All right, just gotta figure out the correct way to get to the uh, to the friend there. Looks like this way. Sorry if I'm not talking so much. I'm trying to concentrate so we don't have to do this over again. Ah, uh, we're almost there. And well, we made well, we made it to uh to our friend here. 
I'm the last Brightling prisoner. There are 40 of us all together, you know. How many did you save? All of them. We saved all of them. Because that's how you get the best ending in this game. Uh, you have to save all of them. Treasure doesn't matter. Uh, the gold statues doesn't matter. The gold statues are there just to give you extra health. And the treasure is only there to get to give you uh, GBA demos of WarioWare. Um, uh, Mega Micro... The, uh, the Mega Micro Games. Okay, now, here's the question. How are we going to get to the... Uh... Woo! Almost fell off there. Aha! There we go. We got everything in this level. So there's only one thing left to do. Reset. And leave. And honestly, it looked like it didn't take that long. Well, we have to get through this whole thing again. If these guys decided being less annoying. Uh, cool. Okay, never mind. We didn't even need that that uh, third one. Alrighty then. Well, first, let's just heal up a bit. Better be safe than sorry. After all, we only need to take... Oop. There we go. We're all healed up. Time, time to fight the boss. There we go. Yep, so, this whole boss fight, just beat up his hands. Yeah, that's basically it. Beat up his hands, and just throw his hands back at him. I was able to dodge that. Oh, there we go. Got it. What? That didn't count. I like to call bullshit. I, I clearly hit him. I missed! What? Alright, well, he's gonna be breathing fire. There we go. And, well, well, we are at the maximum battle health we can have in this game, which is eight ho eight, eight, ugh. I didn't mean to say that. Eight whole hearts. And, let's just go through everything real quick. So we're at the treasure art square. Huge treasure box key, uh, not, it's still in incomplete. We got everything in Excitement Central. We got everything in Spook. Spooktastic world. We have everything in Thrillsville. And we got everything in Sparkle Land. Let's go fight. Let's go fight the boss. Is what I would have said before I fell off. Now it's now it's, let's go fight the boss, but more annoyingly. <laughs> Alright, so here's here's So one thing I'll say. Other than Dual Dragons, which is a mad world boss, the other three world, world bosses in this game 
are actually pretty good. Captain Skull is a really funny lad. There he is. Look how funny he is. He has a cannon arm. So, okay, so here's the trick with him. Uh... Well, first thing first, dodge is, uh... The trick with him is just to grab a barrel and beat him up. Oh, barrels can also drop health. Oh, oh and keep in mind, you can also just flat out miss. Don't know why, but it can happen. Oh, no, a lot of barrels over there. Back here. And clean fight. We only took we only took one hit. And that's just because we fell off the map. Alright folks, this is it. We're at the final battle. Alright, <laughs> right, before we fight the boss... Let's, uh... Oh, here's, here's we, where we can fight the boss at. Going up to the very top triggers the final battle, but let's go over here for a moment. Because we collect everything, you can see these, uh... Yep. So punching these will activate uh, the download for uh, for the WarioWare demos. We have Wario, Jimmy T, Ninevolt, Mona, uh, Katana, or Katanana, uh, Orbulon, Dr. Trigor and uh, Dribble and Spitz. And they're just demos. They, I think they only play... From what I know, I think they only play the micro games that come with that character. And for Wario, I believe it's the... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the intro games, not the uh, the final uh, micro games you play at the end of WarioWare. That'd be silly, wouldn't it? Anyway, enough talking about WarioWare. Let's fight the final boss. Now, I'm going to say this much. The final boss in this game is very lame, and I'll explain and I'll explain why. But first, let's just watch the whole world get nuked as Wario look on in horror. So, this is the entire this is the entire boss fight. Just running around, freeing all the sprightlings. Uh, the Japanese, and now I'll say this much, uh, the English and European version of this game, so the, uh, the, the NCST and the, uh, uh, and the, what do you call it, uh, the PAL version of this game, both were heavily rushed, so the boss fight, for the, so the final boss is kind of lame, for, for once the Japanese version actually comes out later, And here's the thing, because the Japanese version- Oh, well, they blocked me off, huh? The 
Anyway. Oh yeah, so the Japanese version. Uh What? Uh, let's... Good, let's throw the bitch. But yeah, Japanese version. Uh, I keep getting cut off here. Uh, so the Japanese version came out, uh, much later. Like, I think a year later, I would probably say. Let's just... I might as well just damage boost it. Uh, and... So, the, so... And the, the final version of the, uh... Of the Japanese boss fight... You know, at this rate, I might as well just cut through the middle. Or not! Because... Because the boss is... Is trying to beat the bat. There we go. Foul driver, the, uh... The jewel. Uh, yeah, so... So here's the thing. First phase of the Japanese uh, final boss fight is what we're doing right now. Break, bringing free all the uh, spritelings. Although this time, rather than it being five for each level, uh, ten for each world. After, uh, after the uh, after you free all the spritelings, the Black Jewel will start fighting you head on and have a bunch of different attacks while playing the E3 trailer theme, which I believe is also the Pecan Sands beta theme. Or like the beta theme of uh, Pig and Sands, the level. But yeah, that plays that for the final boss fight. And honestly, I much prefer the uh, the, the Japanese final boss fight compared to the uh, the one we got in America. A lot more better. I'll put I'll put a link in the description for the Japanese final boss fight for you to see. Yeah, so that's so that's the whole thing with the Japanese version of this game. Other than that, I think I think they also like I think there was other improvements in the game that I just can't think of. But yeah, but yeah, but but yeah. Uh, long story short, uh, Japanese boss fight, uh, pretty cool. Uh, uh, international boss fight, pretty lame because uh, Treasure Rush the game, or it's uh, two thousand. For its uh, 2003 release. Why did I press the A button? I like to call bullshit on that. Yeah, so here's the difficult part about the boss. Uh, it keeps cutting off. Because it's a bastard. There you are. God. How did I miss you? Luckily, you're given plenty of, of health. Well if, you, well, if you collect all the gold statues, you are given plenty of health to be able to uh, fight this guy uh, one try. Now, you can fight this guy with with your starting point, with your base four health. I don't know why you would do that unless you're speedrunning, but but yeah. Also, also the ending to this game is really funny. If you don't save any of the sprite links, other than the first one, you're required to save the the first one. Up with your I I beans, asshole. Alrighty, last phase, and then this ball, and then oh, never mind. That was that was the last. That was the last one. I win! I win! Ah. Uh, uh. Man, 
Charles Martin is a national treasure, right? Treasure, I tell ya. Alongside with, like, I don't know, like, Barry Spencer or someone else. But anyway, here's the... But hey, we saved all the Spritelings. So, why is... So, why is the ending really funny if you don't save any of them? Well, I'll explain. You did it! You defeated all the evil monsters! Everything will be alright now. Wario, we're saved! Thank you! The evil Black Jewel has been smashed to powder! The monsters won't come back now, and, but even if they do, I think we can handle them. As a reward, we're going to rebuild your ruined castle. We Spritelings aren't that strong, so without a lot of us, I doubt we can rebuild your castle right, but we'll do our best with what we have. Here it goes. Uh, so here's here's what makes it funny. Uh, if you don't save any of the uh, Spritelings, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll be dancing inside their boxes. But yeah, they, they do they do a little funny dance for you. <laughs> I still fucking love that sound effect. And like Luigi, up. Oh. Just like in Luigi's Mansion, you don't see uh, what you get until the staff credits are done. But yeah, uh, I guess it's time for me to talk about uh, my thoughts on the game. So. Obviously, this isn't my first rodeo with the game. After all, I was, after all, this was a 100% run. But, but this is on. But on Lost Save on Lost Save of Luigi's Mansion, this is one of my favorite GameCube games and favorite games in general. This game is heavily underrated. I wish Nintendo paid more to not only paid more attention to not only this game but also the Wario Land series in general. But if you're a huge fan of the Wario Land games, uh, definitely. Give Wario World a try because it has the same feel as Wario Land, but with a but with a 3D spin to it, with with, with beat 'em up elements as well, which is why it's really up in my alley because I do love my beat 'em ups. I and it, this is also up your alley if you love the uh, the weird zaniness uh, that tre that Treasures games uh, have. Because like let's see, uh, other than Gunstar Hero, like who, what what other game did uh, Treasure work on? I think there's like I think there was like another good one that they made. I just can't think, can't think of it. Oh, right, mischief, mischief makers. Yeah, they're, yeah, they did make mischief makers, did they? Yeah. So like, yeah. So if you're a big fan of mischief makers or uh, or any of any of treasure, up oh, speaking of the devil, there we are. Uh, if you like any of treasures, uh, stuff, then uh, yeah, definitely give this game a try. But with that being said, and we got Warrior's Castle back. That's it. That's the stuff. Now that's that's the kind of place a guy like me deserves. <laughs> And yeah, that's the game. Woo! So glad we got that done. And 100% of it again, because if you guys weren't here for the first episode, which, first off, why were you not here for the first episode? But, uh, second... But, uh, secondly... But secondly, uh... What do you call it? Uh, I mentioned that I did it. I originally did a hundred percent let's play for this. Like I had like I saw the old video files and everything, but I just wasn't proud of it. And I think it's safe to say that I'm that I think I did a lot better commentary wise and a lot better gameplay wise. So so yeah. Uh, anyway, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to be doing next for my uh, what the, what's the next that's let's play I'll be doing. So. Uh, Yes, yeah, stay tuned to whatever I decide to do, I guess. But if, but with that being said, if you guys like the content I do, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Please consider leaving a like, leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, and with that being said, I'll, I guess I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. And I hope you guys have a nice day, night, or afternoon. Until then, buh-buh!